Donald Trump has been fined and warned he could be sent to jail if he violates a gag order in his New York criminal trial again. North America correspondent Jade McMillan joins us from Washington. Good morning, Jade. OK, why has this fine been imposed? Well, the judge who's overseeing Donald Trump's criminal trial in New York on falsifying business records had issued what's known as a gag order to try to prevent the former president from publicly criticising people involved in this case, like witnesses, jurors and also court staff. But in a decision released today, Justice Juan Mershan said that the former president had violated that order on nine different occasions. He pointed to social media posts and also posts on Donald Donald Trump's campaign website and argued that they had attacked the credibility of two high profile potential witnesses in this case, porn star Stormy Daniels and Donald Trump's former lawyer Michael Cohen, both of whom will be central to the prosecution's allegations that Donald Trump falsified those business records to cover up a secret payment to Ms Daniels in 2016 after she'd claimed to have had a sexual encounter with him. The judge issued a fine that is equivalent uh, to more than 13,000 Australian dollars. He actually complained that that was the maximum financial penalty that he could impose. He suggested that it wouldn't be a deterrent to someone who could so easily afford that. But he did warn Donald Trump that if he continued to violate this order, then he could also be sent to prison for a period of time. Yeah, well, how has he responded to all of that? Well, he's criticised this gag order from the beginning. We've just heard from him. He spoke briefly outside court uh, and criticised it again. He says that this is an attack on his right to free speech. And he's also, again, reiterated his accusation that the whole trial is politically motivated. That is an argument that we have heard Donald Trump make against all four of the criminal cases against him, this one in New York, potentially being the only one that will conclude before November's presidential election. The posts in question, though, have been taken down and there could be further developments on this, Lisa, later this week when the judge will hold a hearing on another four alleged violations. Jade, thanks for the details.